Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to review and highlight all the features of HP OfficeJet 5745. So the first thing that I want to share with you is that this is a wireless printer. You can, it works on the Wi-Fi as well with the wire and it has the facility of uh, copying, faxing and scanning. I will also talk about how to change the ink cartridges of 5745 and since this is one of the key thing that a lot of people have asked me in other videos I'm going to start with showing you how to change the cartridges and then I will move on for the other features. Now to change the cartridge first thing you need to do is that you need to switch off your uh, HP monitor make sure it is shut off just press this button it will auto shut off after five seconds. Now it has shut down so you have to lift this lid here and you there you will see some a kind of a hinge here you will have to just press it open pull it up like this and there here you will see two cartridges on left hand side you will see a color cartridge and right hand side a black cartridge just pull like this towards yourself like this and like this and then you take this out simple like this and once you have a replacement cartridge you push it like this and done and done so this way you should be able to change the cartridge now you may have some other problem sometimes you have an urgent printer uh, you have to print some paper but your cartridge is really low on ink so i will tell you a trick how to do that so in case if you are low on ink and you really wanted to print something and the printer's print quality is not coming good so you take a napkin here put the cartridge here and wrap it nicely and then shake it let's shake it give it like a quick random jerk or shake for 10 seconds and then once it is done you should put it back now what will happen in the piece of paper you will see that what we have done you might see some kind of a black dots here so what happens here is that all the ink that is kind of like uh, accumulated will probably come towards the ink and you may be able to uh, print one or two pages uh, in case it's urgency i'm able to do that many times so you also try that trick scanning now if you want to scan multiple pages you have to just open these pages and put multiple pages make sure that pages that you want to scan should come on up so this page this picture will get scanned and then you put the scan button here and then you can either scan it to the computer memory device or to the uh, email wherever you want generally i prefer e email but in case if you want to use a memory device you will see there's a kind of a section here you can just push it and put your usb drive here and you can connect it so this is a way you use a scanning and you can scan multiple pages not no need to scan one page at a time from here on even one page at a time you can just put the page here and do it here now, the difference here is that if you use to, if you want to use this lid it will only scan one page at a time but in, in case if you want to scan many, many pages you have to uh, better to bundle it up here and do it i have tried with 10 pages and it works absolutely fine now coming to the features here now if you can see here you have to put the papers here there are a lot of uh, sections here if you want to have a photos printed you have to put in this section and if you want to have a a4 size paper you need to put it there it's very simple it's very intuitive no need for an explanation here so just put a paper here if you are out of paper it will give a message to you so I'll switch on my HP uh, printer and I will go towards now explaining more features. Now coming to the back panel, you will see there are a lot of uh, like slots here. So obviously one is a power slot here. And if you see this yellow one, this is uh, not a phone line. This is more uh, primarily to connect your printer with wire to different network in the same network. If they have multiple PC, you can connect it up. And then you have uh, this uh, extension one. If you have a T line, you can use that. Or if you have two extension, you can even use it. So depending on your circ circumstances and your setup, you can use it. But primarily for a regular setup, you don't need anything of that because it's wireless and it, it works fine. Absolutely. You, uh, uh, if you have a wire and a Wi-Fi. And finally, for troubleshooting, in case if uh, sometime paper gets stuck and it's kind of jammed here, you can either use your app to find out the issue, but ultimately you have to open the lid here, uh, the first, not the first lid, the second lid, and find it out in case you will see a jam paper. 
to sh uh, make sure that you shut it down and then you pull that paper out and uh, um, you will be able to probably sort out a problem so do share me uh, in the comments in case if you have any issues or any problem with this printer i have been using this printer for a while and i will definitely be able to help you out so thanks for watching my video and please do like and subscribe and uh, have a great new year now coming to the screen here uh, you will see they have a lot of options here so in case if you want to scroll left to right you have to just use like a slide phone here and if you want to see your uh, what is the status of your ink here you will see on the right hand side there is a drop kind of ink drop just click there it will tell you the ink so as of now my ink level are extremely low so this way you can gauge the status of your ink there are other options which are like self-explanatory and very intuitive i won't go through that like copy fax scan and photos and then there are like uh, in case if you want to set up your wi-fi you need to click uh, here and you will see connecting mine is already set up so uh, i will just try to set up another email and show you how to do it so if you want to do a setup you just scroll on the extreme right you will see an option called setup just click on the setup here and you will see all the things here like right from ink information network setup web service setup fax setup so you just click on that and uh, you can even use the console here or the smart app on your laptop or, or on the phone but uh, i think this screen is self-explanatory and you can easily guide through it's very intuitive for example in case if you want to do uh, ink information you can just click here it will tell you the ink here similarly if you want to do a fax setup click on the fax setup it, it's like a more of a wizard here and it's a i, I will say not much of a kind of a challenges in terms of finding out how and what to do so in case if you have any pertaining or pertinent questions around any question any uh, like uh, ink issues or any setup issues uh, do write in comments and i will certainly reply back to you